Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, how are you, my friends? Today is a new day and a new lesson, inshallah. Um, we're going to continue what we're doing, what we have been doing since the beginning of the week. And let's see which lesson that we have to study today. Let me share my um, whiteboard. Say Bismillah and let's start here. Our new is about the difference between the three sentences that I'm going to write now. So I say I play tennis. I play tennis every Friday. I played tennis last Friday. I will play tennis next Friday. <clears throat> this sentence, these sentences have things in common, guys. They all talk about that somebody played tennis. And the word Friday is mentioned. However, there is a big difference because in sentence one, I said every Friday. In sentence two, I said last Friday. And in the third one, I said next Friday. So here the tense is different because in sentence one, this is something that usually happens regularly happens so every friday i play tennis that's something repeated that's why i say that this sent this sentence is in the present tense why because it always happens it regularly happens while this one just happened last friday maybe it was my only time that i played tennis Maybe I play just one time and I'm, I will never play it again. So that's why I call this tense is past. Why? Past. So that's past. And here I'm talking about something that will happen. That's why I call it future. Why future? Because it hasn't happened yet. I'm just talking about something that I will do. So here you can see the difference between the different verbs, the difference between the verbs. I used play, played, will play. So if your verb is in the present tense, you will find that it is just the verb, the verb that I know that is written in the dictionary. Or sometimes it, it, there is an S course you know s e s i e s so if the verb is just the verb with no endings or it has a final s then it is present that's present but if i have the verb with the with the ed the final ed that is past of course we studied that it's not only ed it's ed or just d if you have a final e in your verb it's IED if you have a final Y and there is a consonant before the Y, or it is an irregular form, like go went. This is called an AD verb. So, and the third one will be the best and the easiest because it has will. So if you have will, then you're talking about the future. So here today, we're talking about tenses. And what do I get? What do I understand? When I talk about tenses, guys, here we refer to the time that the uh, in, in which the verb happened. So I play tennis every Friday. The tense here is prison. That means that it usually happens or regularly happens, as we said. But when I say I played tennis last Friday, this is something that passed, finished. And I will. Oh, I understand. You, you will, you will play. You didn't play. You're not playing, you will play. So that's the idea about studying tenses, guys. You refer to, um, 
you refer to the time of uh, the, in which the verb happened. And um, I have to draw your attention that probably most of you, when they use, when they refer to the past, they use a present verb. So we need to change this. So yesterday I visited. Um, uh, two, two days ago, I traveled. I can say two days ago, I traveled. Two days ago, I traveled. Um, so these are some of the, the, th the things that you have to pay attention to. Of course, there are some, there is, there is something called um, keywords for each tense, but the, it's not a must because in the present sample tense, in the present tenses, I can use uh, always as a, as a keyword. So I say, I always go to school on foot. Uh, I usually play tennis uh, in the afternoon, but sometimes I can say he, he was always happy. So it's not a must to use the keyword to refer to a certain tense. However, it, it, it is, it acts like a, a, a help or something. So here, um, let's see, what do we have here? So this is uh, RWM page, um, course book page 215. Here, they talk about present, past and future tenses. And they say that you can show when an action happened. This is what we said. And we call this tense. And we use different tenses. And different tenses um, uh, just provide us with different verb forms. So here, if you would like to study the tense, you have to care for the verb. And we said that if the verb has nothing at the end or has an S, this is present. If it has an ED, it's past. If it has will, it's future. Okay. But will comes before the verb, as you see. So here, you, you, if you compare the three underlined words, you find one with S, one with ED, one with will. It's so easy. I, I knew with S present, ED past, will future. Okay. And they remind us here with some of the tips that if you have a final Y, you cross out the Y and you add IES in present, you add IED in past. In future, we have to refer that using will uh, forces us to use the stem form of the verb, a verb with no ending, no ED, no, e, no S, nothing. So I can say will studies or will visits or will played, will play, will visit will study, and so on. You, you don't have to forget also that um, if you have a one-syllable word, and you're, the, we, stu we studied before one-syllable words or two-syllable words. If you use, if your verb is one one-syllable word, and you would like to add something to that, to add ed to this, you have to, dub to have to double the consonant that is preceded by a vowel, like the word shop, it's shot, it's, Tra even traveled, by the way, traveled has two different forms. You can write it with one L, this is American English, or you can write it with double L, and this is British English. And British English and American English have some differences in between them, between each other. So here, uh, I just have to tell the tense of the verb by looking at the underlying words. So you have the word like, well, enjoy. Oh, like, yes, there is no ending. And... Uh, <clears throat> and, the, and there is no uh, any reference to the past then it's present <clears throat> will enjoy or oh, will enjoy yes will future traveled ed past and so on guys so here is this is what happens here and in the second exercise uh, I have to write the to choose which verb is correct so here last year Sam's class learned because last year this is one of the keywords that we refer to the in the past it is a must it is a must to use a, a reference to the past you have to tell me when did this happen last week two days ago last summer uh, in 1997 and so on so learned and by the way learned has two different forms in the past you can add ed or you can add a t so say learned okay 
um, this happens in 215 in the course book. Now 221, 221. You have to, to read this selection. You have to read this short passage and answer the questions. And it's so easy. They just took out the verb from the sentence and you have to provide it. And it's so easy. Number one, which present tense? Present tense? Okay. Cross out will, cross out ed verbs. So you will have only liking and like. So I will choose like. Okay. And so on, guys. You have so simple questions. And um, uh, inshallah, you're clever enough to answer this easily. Do not forget that you have the PowerPoint presentation with the answers on our drive. So just uh, answer your course book, answer in your course book, then refer back to the, uh, to, to the presentations. Thank you so much and see you again, inshallah. Goodbye.